This is Bespoke TV, I'm Jennifer and we're about to meet Pauline from Clare London. So Pauline, Clerkenwell is a really unique space. Uh, can you tell us more about what makes it special? Well, I think what makes it special is we've got a bit of everything, but it's all, it all makes sense together. Yeah. So we have a restaurant, we have a spa, we've got a retail space, we've got a wine store, we've got a piano lounge, uh, we've got a DJ booth, but it all makes sense and it all links together because it's, it's all about treating the customer like taking care of yourself and it's all about putting the maker in front like giving a platform to the makers so yeah. where like even if they are like winemakers designers um foodies like just giving them that platform to express themselves and to connect to the customer so it's a good place for the customer to come and learn and a good place for the designer to come and teach in a way and explain what they what they're about and what they do amazing and can you tell us um, about your team and what role they play yes David is the tailor and David is English and learn tailoring here in England but also in Italy and those are just the main vibes about tailoring because so many different about the needs and the fabrics that they're using in England and Italy know so much that's quite amazing and it's really good for me to go and pick in his department when we're talking about the texture of the wine when we do a wine tasting. We have Sue, Sue is the magic behind all the events that we do here. So again, it's all about connecting really. I think Southern World London is all about connection if I had to sum up. So it's just connecting all the know-how and all the little hands to make the event perfect. Yeah. Max is the retail specialist and it's just he makes everything that he touches beautiful, which is quite amazing. And then Rachel is um, the well specialist of the world, is our treatment uh, in the spa. And she's got that gift of making everyone feel comfortable and taken care of. Um, and Federica is the restaurant manager and um, she comes from Italy, she's really lively and we work a lot with the wine, with the, the wine in the menu. Amazing. So, and Massey is the general manager. He makes everyone works together. Yeah. And Sarah is our heart and soul. So she's the one who created the store two years ago. And she's the one with the vision. And she's the one who eats. Amazing. And you look after the wine. I do. Yeah. <laughs> and we're in the lovely wine library. It really is a stunning space. Can you tell us more about it? Uh, so the wine library is the store. Uh, so people can just come and buy and pick wines to yeah. go home. But it's also, as you see, a very nice place to have events and have wine dinners or every kind of dinner. And um, yeah, so that's the wine library. We've got wines from everywhere around London, everyone around the world. Uh, so from classic region like France or Italy or Spain, but we also have wine from Japan, wine from Lebanon, wine from Greece, wine from Turkey. So we like to be creative about the wine selections. I see there's a lot of yeah. wine. <laughs> and and Clerkenwell has a real focus on the story and the culture behind its producers. How do you channel this in your wine selection? Everything about wine is about story actually. So it's it's not even a task for me to select the story behind the wine because every wine has got so many different stories about so many different things behind the label. It's just a matter of you know, telling the right story to the right people at the right moment. But you can talk about the maker, of course, and why he does what he does and how he works. But you can talk about the great variety, you can talk about the landscape, you can talk about the history behind it. There's a lot of in implication between all of them, like history, geography, even social, and even culture. There's so many sort of stories to select. There's always one. Um, to tell. Um, and you know so much about wine. How did you get here and what made you so passionate about wine? So I'm French and <laughs> <laughs> that's the first thing. And the second thing is my parents were wine growers in Burgundy. So it's quite, it's kind of a cliche uh, being a, in the wine industry because your parents were wine mm -hmm. growers. But um, I didn't want to be a wine grower myself because I had to work with my parents growing up. And as a teenager, 
it wasn't the thing that I loved the most doing, <laughs> having to go and work with them. Uh, so when I didn't want to take over the vineyards, my father said, okay, but go and do something meaningful about wine. Mm -hmm. So I've started training in France and training the hospitality staff about wine and what kind of story the customer were actually interested mm -hmm. in because people, when they talk about wine, most of the time just talk about taste note, tasting notes yeah. and give you... Well, it smells of peach and it tastes of lemon, but that's about it. <laughs> fruity note. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a fruity wine. Um, so I was more interested about the, those stories. I think they really help the customer to connect to the wine and understand it a bit better. Because you don't have to be a technician or you don't have to be knowledgeable about mm. wine to understand the story and connect with that. Wow, and you have quite a unique gift, don't you? As well. <laughs> Can you elaborate on that? Because I found it fascinating. Yeah, so that it's called synesthesia. Synesthesia. When I smell wine, it's I see colors or I hear music. So it works differently for everyone that's yeah. got that special brain set, yeah. mindset. Uh, but it's basically when you use one of your senses, it triggers another one. So I know that for me, it's the nose that triggers my other other senses. So when you smell a wine. So when I smell, I see colors, for example. Wow. That's, that's how I do my tasting notes, actually. Wow. Um, and I had to learn that to express yeah. those colors and those very personal visu visualization. Mm -hmm. I had to learn and translate it to other people because it's, of course, very personal. That's incredible. Um, so yeah, colors and music really? and even texture a bit. But that helps me, I think, creating unique wine tasting because I can always connect the wine, either the story or even the wine, how it tastes mm. to the people because I, I, right. it, it simplifies all the connection yeah. in a way. That's, That's amazing. Wow. <laughs> um, and what's your thoughts on British wine um, and does Glacomar offer any? Well, they're getting really, really better thanks all because of the change of climate yeah. and because the climate's <laughs> getting warmer then England starts to have the same condition that Burgundy had mm -hmm. maybe 25 years ago. So it's still very hard to have um, what we say is still wine, so non-sparkling wine, like red or white classic. Because um, for red wines, you really need light and sunshine and heat, mm -hmm. which is, I think, a bit lacking in England still. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's a lot of light. Actually, it's the same problem in the north of France. If you don't have wine in the north country, it's about the temperature, but it's also because of the light, you don't have enough light so the oh. photosynthesis yeah. in the leaf can't work properly so so the sparkling are doing really well i mean yeah. do you have uh, british wine yes we have a we have a sparkling mm -hmm. um and i think going blind you just you could say the champagne to be fair yeah. and a good british wine is better than an average champagne So something that we do with everyone that we interview is our six questions in 60 seconds. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so for a French girl, is it Mayfair, Soho or Knightsbridge? London Bridge. Oh, different. <laughs> uh, what's the last book you read? Uh, Above Sea Level by Amy Hartley. It's a magazine about Californian wines. Amazing. Uh, last song you listened to? Um, Elvis. My daughter loved to dance with Elvis. Apple or PC? PC, different. <laughs> um, what annoys you? Uh, people that are really close-minded about wines. Okay. And what inspires you? Women in business. Lovely. And finally, um, who are you introducing us to? I'm introducing you to David Newells, who is our um, tailor expert. Our uh, tailor expert. Amazing. Look forward to listening to him. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure too.